Hello and welcome to Content Writing Made Easy. I'm Gloria McDonald, if you don't know me, and I mentor and train network marketers and affiliate marketers on how to build your businesses and grow your teams using the two most powerful tools there are on the planet today, the power of your consciousness, your mind, your energy, and the power of the internet. So the ROI on time spent mastering this skill is superior to just about all else. I'm talking about writing. So let me ask you, do you feel like you're no good at writing? Oh, are you staring at a blank page trying to figure out where to even begin? Or does just the thought of writing a 1200 word article or blog post give you a massive headache? Well, you're about to get your hands on my very best content writing tips for beginners or not so beginners. So let me know who, if you can hear me, first of all, and uh, let me know where you're coming in from as you hop in here. I'd love to, hey, Tom Washington. So great to see you. Okay, so today I'm going to give you my simple three-step HLC formula. And you're about, when you learn this, you'll be cranking out killer content in no time, I promise. So stick with me here because today you're gonna learn five key things you'll want to keep in mind every time you write an article, a blog post, or a piece of content for your website. You're also going to learn a simple works every time, three-part formula for writing well-structured and engaging content. And you're going to learn how to provide valuable, relevant, and engaging information in everything you write, plus how to create content that both your prospects and Google will love. And that is super important. Hey, Brad Whitaker, great to see you here. Hello, Alice Boudreaux. Now, a bunch of you are coming in here as Facebook user. I'm using StreamYard to stream this. So in order for me to see who you are, you go to StreamYard.com and you just sign up. It's free. You just go to StreamYard.com, sign up, and then your name will appear so I can actually know who I'm talking to. Hello, Eddie from Georgia. Or actually put your name in there like Eddie did, Eddie from Georgia. Um, because otherwise, so somebody's here from Ontario. Hello, hello. Great to see you. And I don't know who you are because I am streaming from StreamYard to Facebook, okay? So, great to see everybody here today, and let me know, let me know if you want my easy copy content writing formula, my three-step formula. Let me know, give me a great big huge yes in the comments if this is something you want. But, you know, just in case you're not totally convinced this is for you, let me read you this quote. Listen to this. Copywriting is one of the highest paid and highest leverage activities you can do in your business. The ROI you get from every hour you spend studying and practicing your craft will be higher than the majority of other things you do in building your business. And I totally agree with that. So, if you're writing a blog post, an article for LinkedIn, or content for a page on a website, you want to provide valuable, relevant, and engaging information, and super, super, super important, you want to be sure Google and the other search engines can find it. So here's your Google and prospect optimized article, blog, and website content writing format. There are five key things that Google is looking for anytime you write anything. And guys, if you're writing an article on LinkedIn, this is one of the super powerful things about LinkedIn. LinkedIn connects with Google and Google actually scrolls through articles on LinkedIn to find relevant content. So your article, you can keyword optimize. You can search engine optimize your articles on LinkedIn. I cannot recommend highly enough that you're writing articles on LinkedIn. And if you're spending time creating content, and for those of you who know, I'm all about creating special search engine optimized websites. 
then you might as well have a blog on there as well. And you want to create content. And I want to make this easy for you. So here are the five things Google's looking for. Structure. Google loves structure, and so do your prospects, your readers. We human beings just like structure. Number two, rich content. So Google's looking for rich content. So in order to optimize any article, whether you're on LinkedIn or a blog post or a page on a website, it should be a minimum of 1,000 words and better if it's 1,200 to 1,500 words. Number three, Google is looking for relevancy. So the content needs to be relevant to your page name, your headline, and Google, just like all the social media platforms, whether it's Facebook or LinkedIn or Pinterest or Instagram, they all want you to be staying on the site. Staying So if, if you're on writing an article on LinkedIn, LinkedIn knows how much time you've spent on that article. Google knows exactly how much time every single person who's come to a page on your website, they know exactly how much time people are spending on that exact page on your website. It's crazy. It's insane, but they know all this stuff. So you want to make sure that you're keeping people on your content. And the best way to do that is to make sure that what you advertised is what they get. So, for example, if the headline, the subject of your content is top, top, top five vegan skincare brands, and then your reader goes to the article and it's about your vegan shampoo or deodorant and why it's so great, you will lose your readers very quickly. Even though it's, it's connected, it's not what people think they're coming for. So... Um, and your abandon rate, your bounce rate will be very high, and this will crush you in the Google algorithm, the search engine algorithms, and it will crush you in the LinkedIn algorithm. So number four, Google's looking for keyword optimization. So each page on your website or each article on LinkedIn or blog post should be keyword optimized with one H1 tag and multiple H2 tags, five to 10 H2 tags, say. Okay, number five, Google is looking for relevancy. Sorry, recency, recency. So Google and LinkedIn both love content that is new, fresh, updated. So updating an article or a blog post or a page on your website that you wrote six months ago is going to help boost you in the search engine rankings. Adding new content on a regular basis is even better. Ideally, you want to be doing both. Okay, so those are the five things that Google's looking for. Now, let's talk about how to start writing content with the simple three-step content creation formula. Number one, and this is the HLC, HLC formula. So H is hook, L is list, and C is call to action. So when you follow this simple works every time, three-part structure for a blog post, for uh, writing easy, eye-catching, and engaging content, it will work for you. It will work for you with website, as a website content template. It will work for you as a blog content template. And it will work for you as a LinkedIn article content template. So. In every piece of content, you're going to, number one, tell them. So you're going to tell them what you're going to tell them. You're going to tell your audience what you're going to tell them. That's the hook. Then number two, you're going to tell them that's the list or the content. And number three, you're going to tell them what you told them. So you're going to tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and tell them what you told them. And when you tell them what you told them, that's your summary and your call to action. Okay, so let's dig into each one of these three steps. Step number one, the hook, or tell them what you're going to tell them. So every piece of content starts with a hook, which grabs your reader's attention and tells them what's in it for them to stay on your page and read the information. Um, in the hook, you want to tell your prospect how you're going to solve their problem and let them know how you're going to help them move away from pain and or towards pleasure. Okay. 
So there are different types of hooks for writing. These are just some of them. Number one is the question hook. Number two is the strong statement or declaration hook. Number three is the fact or statistic hook. Number four is the metaphor or simile hook. Number five is the story hook. Number six is the description hook. Number seven is the quote hook. Number eight is the promise hook. And number nine is the intrigue or mystery hook. Ooh, ah. So um, there are a variety of examples of hooks in writing. And you can use multiple hooks. You can use just one, but you can use multiple hooks at the beginning of your content like I did at the beginning of this. So I started with a quote hook. And then I followed that up with three questions. And then I drew you in further with a promise hook. I promised that you're about to get your hands on my very best content writing tips for beginners. Then I continued with an intrigue hook. Um, and I said, with the simple three-step HLC formula you're about to learn, What's the HLC formula? I've got to know that. And then I threw in another promise by saying, you'll be cranking out killer content in no time. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? I want to be able to crank out killer content in no time. I hope you do too. Um, and throughout the whole hook in this article, I was telling you what I was going to tell you. So you're going to tell them what you're going to tell them. And I rounded off with a bullet list of what you'll learn. I did mention, did I mention Google Love Structure and your prospects do too, which is why I gave you a bullet list of what you're going to learn. And just in case you weren't totally sure this was for you, which obviously you are now or you wouldn't still be here, I threw in another question hook and I said, not totally convinced this is for you. And then I ended with, a quote hook. And I read that quote about why learning how to write content is so important to you. Okay. So that's step number one, the hook. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Step number two. So that's H. Step number two is L, the list. Now you're going to tell them. You're going to give your prospects information. So there is an ideal structure to a blog post or an article on LinkedIn, or a piece of content on a website. And it's important to have great website content structure. This is super important. So throughout this, I've structured all of the information I'm giving you in lists. And sometimes even a list within a list. So <clears throat> you want to think of your content in blocks. So each block is um, well, each block will have a headline and then under the headline might be a list. Now this isn't, isn't a must, but under the headline, there might be a list of introducing the three steps or the five key ingredients or the seven most important blah, blah, blah. Right. And then, uh, this is going to be followed by a sub headline, which is followed by content and information, which is followed by another subheadline and content and information, which is followed by another subheadline and content and information until you're done with your article. So let me give you the easy blog structure template here. Okay. Your title of your article is going to be up at the top. Hook is the next section. The next session section is, um, a headline and it's really important to put images in here so for each headline and then sub headline and uh content you want an image or a graphic or an infographic or an illustration or a chart because you want to be able to you want to be drawing your reader in so <clears throat> you're going to have the title of your article the hook section then you're going to have a headline and then an image and then a subheadline, which might be step number one, the hook, and then content, and then another subheadline, which is step number two, the list, 
and then content and an image, and then another subheadline, which might be three, the call, a uh, step number three, the call to action, and then an image, and then more content. And again, you just keep repeating that subheadline, image, content, subheadline, image, content, subheadline, image, content. And very often, the content underneath the subheadline is another list, whether it's bullet points or number one, two, three, four, five. Google loves structure, 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 structure. And again, so do we as we, human beings. So the more structured you can have your content, the more you will have people sticking with you. Okay. And then, of course, you're going to have the summary and the call to action, which brings me to step number three, the call to action, which is where you're going to tell them what you told them and then grab them in to take action. So let me give you an example of that for this. A summary can be very short and simple and it can and it can lead your prospect directly to the call to action. So here's an example. In this three-step HLC formula, hook, list, call to action, you'll be, when you follow this, you'll be cranking out con killer content in no time. So to learn how to ignite your business and use this content writing easy, content writing made easy formula to have more prospects rolling in, make sales on autopilot, build a bigger team faster, and start making money while you sleep, you want to go to GloriaMcDonald.com slash Ignite right now. So for those of you who are not aware of how I'm teaching you how to create powerful search engine optimized websites so that you literally are having more prospects rolling in and making sales while you sleep and even recruiting team members like auto magic. You really want to go to GloriaMcDonald.com slash ignite right now to get all of this information on this brand new program I'm launching and this whole content writing made easy formula will be, it's a huge piece of what you apply in this. So again, go to GloriaMcDonald.com slash Ignite right now. If you haven't already, it's not too late to hop in on this. And guys, if you found this helpful, please, please, please invite your friends, invite your sideline, invite your downline to join us here. Join us. Every week I do this free training. So please invite your friends. Um, I'd say your families and neighbors, but they're probably not at all interested, but invite your friends, your sideline, your downline, your upline to uh, join us in this free training every week. And as you know, I read all of your questions and comments and I get back to you. So please don't hesitate to write a, uh, post a question, uh, a comment, and I will get back to you. And if you're not aware, you want to go to GloriaMcDonald.com slash Ignite right now to find out about, honestly, how to ignite your business and have it growing while you sleep on autopilot with the power of search engine optimization. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. I can't wait to see you in the Ignite program. Take care.